In this video, I'm going to take a look at binary addition that results in carries. In the last video, we considered the following. 0 plus 0 we know is equal to 0. A 0 plus a 1 is equal to 1. A 1 plus a 0 is also equal to a 1. A 1 plus a 1 is 2, and we need to memorize the fact that 2 in binary looks like this. And when we added up 3 1s, we know that we ended up with 3, which looks like this in binary. 1, 1. Let's consider the addition of these nibbles. And you can see the nibbles take up, in both cases, four flip-flops. And we can regard this grouping of flip-flops as two four-bit registers. And what we need to do is to perform the addition, which would take place in the arithmetic and logic unit of a central processing unit and we would have to have somewhere to store the result so we store the result in another grouping of flip-flops which i'm going to say is a four-bit register we now perform the addition one column at a time so we add these two ones up first and one plus one is two and in binary two is one zero so we put the zero down here and we carry the one to the next column we then have to perform the addition on the next column, taking into account the carry that has resulted. And when we add 1 plus 1 plus 1, we get 3. And of course, 3 in binary is 1, 1. So we place down a 1 and we carry the other one. And now we perform the addition of these three ones, which is 3. And we put the 1 down and we carry the 1. And now we perform the addition of these, making sure we take into account the carry. And of course, 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1. And you can see here, we have the final result shown in this register. Let's confirm the working out here by converting each of the nibbles to deanery. If we look at this nibble, we can see this one has the place value of 1, this one has the place value of 2, and this one has the place value of 4. So when you consider these three 1s, then clearly it's 4 plus 2 plus 1, which we know to be equal to 7. If you consider this nibble, you can see it's the same as this one. So of course, this register is holding a nibble that when you convert it to our number system, has the same value as the nibble shown above and of course that value is equal to 7. Of course in this example we're adding the 7 to the 7 and you can see the plus sign appearing and 7 plus 7 is clearly equal to 14. As we have just seen 7 plus 7 is 14 so this register here should be holding 14. Now it's clearly holding this nibble but is it the value of 14? Well, let's convert it to our number system. And we know that this has the place value of 2, this has the place value of 4, and this has the place value of 8. So we need to simply add these together. 8 plus 4 plus 2 is indeed equal to 14. And this clearly shows that the addition we've been performing in binary has given us the correct result. Let's now consider an example where we have 8-bit registers containing a byte and we'll perform the addition and see the result that we get. Well, we do it one column at a time, so we start with this column here. 0 plus a 0 is indeed a 0. A 0 plus a 1, well, it's clearly a 1. A 1 plus a 0, well, that's also a 1. A 1 plus a 1 is 2 and 2 in binary is 1, 0, so we put the 0 here and we carry the 1 to the next column. We then add these three numbers, 0 plus 0 plus 1 is a 1. We go to this column and 1 plus 1 is 2, which means we put down the 0 and we carry the 1. And now here we add 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3. That means we put a 1 down here and we carry a 1. And now we perform this addition, which is 0 plus 0 plus 1, and the result is 1. Let's consider the values in each of these registers. 
if I look at the top register and I convert the byte that you see into deanery, you'll find that it's 108. If you convert the contents of the next register to deanery, you will find it's 106. Now, 108 plus 106 is equal to 214. So, is this 214? Well, I'm not going to do the conversion for you. You have a go yourself, and you will find it is 214. So, the addition I've just shown of the two bytes gives us the correct result in this register. Let's consider the addition of two different bytes. And you can see in the results register, I've almost completed the addition. I've just left it for the last column. So let's have a look at the last column here. And you can see I've got a 1 plus a 0 plus a 1, which is 2. And that means I will put down a 0 and I will carry the 1. A question we need to ask is what do we do with this carry? You see, there isn't enough room for it in this 8-bit register. And the fact is that the addition of these two bytes has resulted in a 9-bit answer. But we don't have room for the ninth bit, the bit that has the most significant value. What do we do, therefore? Well, we're pointing out here that we have a problem, and I will address the problem and how it's solved in the next video. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.